again, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 12 by 12 inch canvas I have primed with Sherwin-Williams latex satin finish paint. And I just want to put some basic colors on my canvas that I want. And the ma majority of that right now is going to be the jasmine. I'm going to see how I like how far it will go. Add some other colors to it. I'm kind of thinking of black surround. I'm thinking abstract expressionist something or other. And I don't really want any sh canvas showing through, so I need a heavy enough layer. And I'm going to join it with some red violet, which is a vivid, intense fluorescent. And also any other colors I might want. I'm not sure how far into the painting I'll want a black surround or how that's going to work at all, but I'm trying not to be concerned with my outside edge because I might want to keep it the way it is. You never know. Don't want any line of demarcation there. I think a little more. Actually, let's try the carnation. Um, pink diamond. Carnation is next. I see that thing that does not belong. Paint chips need to go away. That's why I keep sharp, sharp stainless steel tweezers. And they are on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on the link tree. The link tree has everything. I think I'm going to use some frosted berry. That was the pink diamond. So far, everything's a prison port except for the red violet. I don't mind them being very similar to each other. That was part of my plan. because I'm focused because I haven't got a plan in mind and I'm waiting for inspiration to come to me. And I keep thinking red, excuse me, I keep, <laughs> I keep thinking blue velvet. But I think I want some of my frostbite with ultramarine blue drops a vivid intensity and one drop of red violet. So let's grab, yeah, let's just do it. That's the blue velvet. And if nothing else, this could be the background for something else. I'm thinking before I go, use some plum blossom too, which is a purpley, more purpley version of the um, frosted berry. Now I get to plan or experiment to see what I might want to go over the top. This would be a perfect time to balloon roll if I had some, if I had layers of paint, but since I don't have layers of paint, that's probably not going to happen. What might happen is my, I wipe off my spatula. I'm really loving the way the, the red violet looks. I'm craving some orange. I'm 
trying to get to the point where I like the marks that my spatula is making. Like I said, I don't want any canvas showing. I think I have to operate pretty quickly. This is just, this right now, it's pretty much modern art. Just contemporary, and I kind of like it that way up, which is pretty simple. I don't really need to go on. Somebody's like, stop then. But I don't know if I can. We'll see. I could. It could just be a really short video. Basically, I'm stopping where I like it, which is what I would advise anyone to do. Stop when you like it. I would have to cover my edges. I'm going to wipe off my spatula. I'm going to have a look and see how I feel about... Yes, I'm going to add some. Well, I will. If it's open. It's not very open. Which could be okay. That's the Orange Crush. And if I don't overwork it, I get to keep the color. Unfortunately, I got this little burr at the bottom. You cannot go back over the colors too many times without incurring an issue. Oh, I'm feeling some red, but I want to try the um, the pink carnation, which is a little bit reddish. Wipe off my spatula. That might work okay. I see I've got a little blue in here and I'm not sure. Yeah, I got it. It might be a shard of paint. Let's just wipe that off, right off the canvas. I don't mind pulling with a spatula, but I don't want to... I don't want to pull the paint off. I'm not entirely sure how long my window of opportunity is, but I really want to try the poinsettia. And I'm being called a Chantilly Lace, too. But there's got to be a limit. be careful because I know there's some blue in there right now. I think, I'm gonna, I think I might skip the black around the outside edge, but I could do it still. Because I kind of like what I've got. It's very simple. It's definitely minimalist. I have some Tuscan Sun and I'm thinking <laughs> that I'm going to give myself permission. I might want to just put it on my spatula. Take the tab off the top. There I go. Maybe I will put it on with... I did actually find, yes, the sour lemon. I kind of I put it across the room and looked for it in the middle of a video and it wasn't forthcoming and I was a little frustrated so... That's very yellow. <laughs> very, very yellow. Which could be cool. The rest of it's going away. But I think I'm going to change it up and use some of the Orange Crush in there and diffuse it a little bit. I've got some tempting tulip that's kind of calling me too. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to leave that orange right there. If I don't mess with it, it won't become yucky. Although I want some of it now. Because I see there's a little canvas down there. I still want some yellow. I kind of want to put the black on and see what happens. But I could put it on tomorrow and I wouldn't have any problem wiping it off if I didn't like it. So maybe I'll wait. The Chantilly Lace is what I was talking about, along with 
so it's going to go on, I'm going to wipe that off a little better. It's going to go on this side. I'm going to use some of the Tempting Tulip also. Right with the Chantilly Lace. I also have some Prussian Violet. Kind of like that. trying to be ever so gentle and not not disturb my I've just spotted the frozen though oh yeah it is it's a basically much lighter version of the cerulean blue which I absolutely love but it's not going to cure me of my desire for some of that Prussian violet, which I think is going to go right on top. I like that. The drama is good. Not 100% sure about that. I like all this. And I'm having fun. This will give me an idea of if I like a dark edge, and I kind of do. I think I'm done. So, that was fast and fun for me. I should tell you guys, please give me a thumbs up. Check on my playlists, all playlists, creative playlists, when you go to my channel. And you'll find them organized by the hundred and also by topic and genre. Please give me a thumbs up. I kind of want to put some of that orange crush right down the side so I'm not missing anything. And I could definitely color match. This is bugging me here, but I have some paint On my spatula. This would be a perfect time to use a, a balloon if you were going to. Because I think you can pick up anything sticky. You better be a good guesser, I think. There. Minimalist. And I like it from a bunch of different directions. I like it my way. I don't mind it that way. Although I see the option. To put something right in there. There, I kind of like that. <laughs> I definitely like that. That might be my favorite way. Just remembering that I've got some some dark paint and steal it and put it over there. There, I'll show it to you that way. And there is probably definitely shimmer. It's a pretty simple design. I'm not saying it's easy to do. This needs to go away. I've got some canvas showing. All right, so I love you guys. Thank you for inspiring the heck out of me. And uh, as weird as it is, it's not for everybody, but it's minimalist and I like it. My paint pouring recipe is below show more. The link tree has everything on it, I think I might have mentioned, including two books on my Amazon link. If you shop the Amazon link, it's at no way to cost you and it helps me out. I give lessons at the house in Springfield, Florida. 
I do sell my art, and if you want to contact me, my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I encourage questions. My community board will show you tomorrow's video or a suggestion. If I didn't post that day, I'll share something with you from the 3,000 videos I've already got. My community board is a great place to find tomorrow's video, or leave me a comment, or ask me a question. Uh, thank you guys for the donations through PayPal. The icon is on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner and it definitely keeps me keeps me uh, buying art supplies and bringing tutorials to you guys. I could put bounce a spatula in here or run chain in here and do uh, have an awful lot of fun adding texture but I think I would do another one like this and then do that after it's dry so that I'm not taking a chance but this is this made me happy. This is what I wanted to do. Please give me a thumbs up when you share my videos. You help me out. I really, really appreciate that. If you'd like to see any of my artwork reproduced, uh, at Pinter uh, excuse me, pixels.com, Find It America, Society6, The Gallerist, or the spring clothing underneath the video, as well as other items that are cool with my stuff on it. I have a lot of new stuff at spring. So go and check it out. Um, I don't know what I'm forgetting. Probably something. Yeah, I post uh, five days a week. I don't post on Wednesdays or Saturdays anymore, and uh, I hope you join me. And just know, I really appreciate you guys, and thank you for being here. And I will see you anon. Bye for now. Whoop. I'll get that in a second. Priscilla out.